Force Division has pledged allegiance to the Crimean people. 800 personnel and almost 50 warplanes are now under the command of local authorities. That brings the total number of troops who have reportedly switched sides in the peninsula to almost 6,000 in just two days. And Antti Igor Piskunov joins us now live from Crimea. Hi there, Igor. So bring us up to date on the developments in Crimea then. Well, this is an Air Force base uh, here in the Crimea. Uh, among the aviation that they have are 45 MiG fighter jets and around 800 personnel members. And all of them have now swore their allegiance to uh, the Crimean authorities, becoming an addition to other Crimean police, uh, military, uh, border guards, uh, Navy, uh, emergency services, who have all said that they will not fulfill what they call our illegal orders coming from the self-appointed government, uh, self-appointed authorities in Kiev. But it's not only about those who uh, were in service uh, before the uprising happened there in Kiev. Uh, also now the former uh, chief, uh, commander-in-chief of Ukraine's uh, Navy fleet, uh, who was appointed by the new authorities there in Kiev after the uprising. He now says that the only old orders he'll take will come from also local authorities here in the Crimea. I, Denis Berezovsky, swear allegiance to the people of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea and the hero city of Sevastopol. I swear to strictly comply with the orders of the Supreme Commander of Crimea and the commanders of military units approved by him, as well as with the requirements of military regulations. I swear to honorably perform my duty and protect the life and freedom of the residents of Crimea and the city of Sevastopol. Meanwhile, it seems support within the military of the new authorities in Kiev is declining even in western parts of the country. There are reports that uh, several special force uh, brigades uh, have refused to fulfill the orders to march on the Crimea. Here on the peninsula, uh, most of the uh, local military bases and arsenals are now under the complete control of local authorities. Those servicemen who refuse to pledge their allegiance to the Autonomous Republic of Crimea have either left the peninsula or resigned all together now currently all of the strategic uh, facilities like airports uh, government buildings even the streets of cities are patrolled by self-defense squads uh, and uh, basically local authorities are currently building uh, their own independent defense ministry and navy while uh, Kiev has been drafting uh, reserve servicemen uh, to to bolster uh, the um, their military forces but so far only around 1.5 percent of these reserves showed up Oh, Igor Piskunov, alive there from uh, Simferopol. Igor, thank you very much.